Let's move on to a topic I know that you're interested in because it's your boy, Daryl Morey, who has yep. emerged from his cocoon and he has told something called the Pomp Podcast that he takes the blame for not surrounding James Harden with a good enough cast. Maury said, I'm quoting, most days I wake up saying I've let him down because I haven't gotten the right players to win a title, unquote. What about you standing with your boy on this one? No, I think it's a great bit of GMing. I think when you go out there and you say to James Harden, you don't have to say anything to James Harden. He, he knows his story's out there. Put it on me. I like people at every level who can say, I will take accountability and sell that and mean it. I know Daryl means it. Daryl's not saying this to sort of, you know, suck up to James Harden. He believes this because he says he thinks about it at night. And I know he does because I've talked to him about it. And no, I'm not pinning this on, on, on Daryl Morey. James Harden's had some big moments in his career. And most of them he has not cashed in on because they've come in things like, oh, game five, game six, game seven. I mean, we've seen it, Tony. So, no, I mean, when, when Chris Paul was on that team, and they nearly had it. I, you know, I believe if Chris Paul is healthy and he doesn't have to go out with the, with the injury, game six or game seven, one of those games, I think Houston's going to win and get to the NBA Finals. I know you don't really believe that. But, but James Harden wasn't the no. most important player on that team, even though he was perhaps the best player on that team. But Daryl Morey put the right team around James Harden at least twice, and James Harden had every chance to get his team through. If you're going to be one of the GOATs, you got to win those games, and he didn't do it. So let me say, first of all, that if Daryl Morey wakes up every morning thinking about James Harden, he needs a new mattress. You cannot wake <laughs> up every morning thinking about James Harden. And let's go over what you're talking about. Because James Harden is a great player on a Wednesday night. Great. He in is December great. December, January, and February. Yeah. He's yeah. great. But in the playoffs, in clinching games, 2015 Golden State, 2 of 11 shooting, 12 turnovers. 2017, San Antonio, 2 of 11 shooting, 6 turnovers. 2018, Golden State, 2 of 13 from 3. 2019, Golden State, 4 turnovers in the fourth quarter. Houston lost them all. Daryl Morey tries everything. Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook, go small, go big. Daryl Morey tries everything. Not everybody wins, Mike. Not everybody wins. There's some great players no. out there who have never won. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people came up against Michael Jordan, and they couldn't beat Michael. You know, like... You know, James Harden couldn't win with Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook in Oklahoma City. It sometimes happens. But the fault is as much James Harden's as it is everybody yeah. else's, and not yeah. everybody wins all the time. They don't. No, I mean, yeah. just a little history lesson, boys and girls. Jerry West is the logo, and we love him. But Jerry West and the Los Angeles Lakers choked time after time. They won one. They got one. And who's the first person who reminds us when we say how great he is? Jerry. Jerry says, hey, wait, wait. We didn't do one. So I don't one. know if James Harden has to, have to have a moment where he deals with himself and how he's played. No, Tony, those numbers you cited, those are indictments. They are in terms of great playoff basketball. And by the way, it's not automatic. It's hard to have great games in those moments, and, and he hasn't had them. It is. It is. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.